Hey guys, Frank Q Film here. Okay, so this is, I guess, my soft re-entry to YouTube today in this video. I haven't touched this channel in about two years. I really wanted to do more content for this channel, but never really got the time to do it. But hopefully now I can. I'm here with a new camera and actually a few new cameras that I hope to show you guys. But in for this video, I actually found some old footage for our, a video I was going to do about two years ago. And I never did it. I have all the footage for it, all the film from it, but never put it together. And I decided for a soft re-entry and while I'm waiting on to get some pictures back for the lab to work on my next video, I decided let's put this together and give you guys something to start with to hopefully get this channel back up and work, working and running. So here you guys go. A video that was supposed to come out two years ago about the Nikon FE that we picked up in Long Island two years ago. I plan to have another video on all the other cameras and stuff I picked up since then, but for now, the Nikon FE. Hey Frank Cube Film here. Okay, so today I have a slightly different video for you. We're doing a bit of a like goodwill hunting type video that I've like I've seen many of those videos before, but fun fact, we don't have many goodwills here. Anyway, actually I don't know where any are in Jersey. So instead we're going to a flea market, which is kind of a similar deal. There's just um used junk everywhere. Or you also have the option of stuff you could easily buy on eBay that people are selling in bulk. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to pick up my friend Brendan. Um, we're going to head out there. We're going to get some breakfast first, then head out there. And then today we're also bringing the Nikon FE. Oops, turn it up that way. Yep, the Nikon FE that we picked up in uh, Long Island in the last video. So we're going to bring this out. Um... I'm going to take some pictures, um, with it, um, I have no idea if the light seals work, so, like, halfway through, I'm going to, like, seal it up with electrical tape, and it's probably going to look like crap, but I just don't know if the light seals work. I notice, like, right here, the door is not lining up, like, correctly, um, so chances are there might be a light seal issue there. I'm not completely sure. We're going to find out. That's the whole point of this video, and, uh, taking this out today. Um, it's in my backpack, but I uh, picked up a box of uh, Ultramax, and that's what we're going to fire through it to test it. And, um, okay, so I'm going to roll out, pick up my uh, boy Brendan, and we're going to get some food and head to the flea market. Okay, got our Kodak Ultramax out here. Got our Nikon camera that we're going to load up. And we got Brendan. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> okay, this was during the point too with the funny silver film cartridges. This really took me off guard at first. So we stopped in a local park by Brendan's house before we went to breakfast. Uh, I took a couple photos here just to start the roll. Attention YouTube, we may have found a giant bird's nest or a giant bundle of steel wire, either or.
After the park, we stopped at a local diner and got some food for ourselves before heading out to the flea market. So kind of unrelated to anything, we stopped next door and if I remember correctly, we just seen these two random huskies tied up to this bicycle outside. Yeah, unrelated to anything, but pretty random. So at this point, I gaffed up the outside of the camera, if I remember correctly. I guess this turned out to be redundant and useless because the camera has no light leaks. Another thing is, I'm gonna be flat out honest, I don't think we found a damn thing here when we were here. Uh, especially nothing of photography interest. Most of it is just used junk. It's a fun look at, but like, it's pretty useless and I didn't find any camera stuff like I was hoping. So over here is a section where you can easily find stuff that you would find anywhere on eBay for cheap or just knockoffs. Honestly, this is probably the most desirable table at the whole place. Well, it couldn't be helped but to be drawn to this giant leaf. Okay, and this is probably the only other worthwhile stand, but at the time I actually wasn't into vinyl records. I want to go back for this to be honest. So after getting tired of looking at garbage outside, we decided to go, well, look at the garbage inside to see if there was anything worth finding. Which, fun fact, there wasn't, but this store was pretty cool. Unfortunately, that was it for the most part. It wasn't anything much but junk, so we kind of left empty-handed. But I did enjoy using the Nikon FE and hope to use it more in the future. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you can. Thank you.